We now bring uh, to you a gentleman by the name of Guido Panzini, known to TV viewers far and wide. And uh, our on-the-spot reporter is really on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> on-the-spot reporter Bill Dana is going to interview uh, Guido. Okay. Bill, will you take over? This is Bill Dana at Dockside, Hudson River, Pier 14, <laughs> where the survivors of the... Andrea Doria, Stockholm Collision, are now disembarking from the French luxury liner, Ile de France. We're going to try and speak to... Uh, the, uh, excuse me, uh, Excuse me, sir. I wonder, could I have a few words with you? Just me, I have a few words. Uh, you seem to be in the uniform of the Andrea Doria crew. Are you a part of the... Uh, this New York... Uh, yes, this is uh, this is New York. Did you come over with? We the were Andrea? coming to New York. <laughs> what did uh, you say? I said, did you come over with the Andrea Doria? Almost. <laughs> and uh, what was what was your particular job? Don't you know my name? <laughs> are we going to broadcast this? Will this be? <laughs> we are broadcasting now. Excuse me. What is your name? Sir? My name is uh, Guido Guido Pensini. Guido Panzini. I'm Italian. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, tell me, Mr. Panzini, what uh, was your job on the Andrea Doria? Well, I, uh, you know, I was uh, the junior officer. And we have young ladies, you know, on the boat, and we... Uh, and my job was to, you know, it's a... No, I mean... Few <laughs> no. I mean, what was your position on... Oh, no, you name it, I had it. <laughs> uh, you kidding? But, is it broadcasting this? Is yes. <laughs> I'd just like to get a few of the details down here, sir, if I may. Um, what was your job on the boat? I mean, what was your occupation? What did you do on the boat? It's all the same, right? <laughs> Uh, I was a the I was a the junior officer and uh, and the Doria, and my job consists of uh, consists of keep close to Captain Calmai because you never can tell what's going to happen. <laughs> yes, and <clears throat> of course history knows what did happen. History should have given a hint. I tell you. <laughs> uh, tell me, Officer Panzini. Uh, John, John, junior officer Panzini. Uh, uh, That's my officer. title. You have to yes. stick with the title. You know? Of course. <laughs> junior Officer Panzini, when did you first realize that you were on... Guido, the... Guido. Call me, call me uh, Guido. Guido, no, when... Junior Officer Panzini. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it this way. <laughs> when did you first realize that you were on a collision course? Well, Captain uh, Kalmai asked the question... Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, somebody answered in Swedish. <laughs> and uh, that that brought it home. That that that, that proved yeah. yeah. proved that you people say something was amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first thing out of uh, Captain Cal Calmai's mouth when the very first thing out of his yes. mouth? What was the when first thing? When he realized what happened. When he realized what happened. His lunch. <laughs> That's not quite e exactly what I, I intended to get out of you I or Captain. Big lunch, Kalmai. too. Uh, may, I, may I rephrase the question? What was the first thing that he did? Oh, the very first thing which he did. Yes. Or which he said, you mean? With the very first thing that he said? A said, beautiful. Did, yes. Whatever you want, sir. Uh, you're Italian. Go ahead. He said a beautiful, quaint, old Italian expression. Mm hmm. And what was that expression? Ma canso carna a yellow dos I see. And what does that mean? That means, what do we hit down there? <laughs> <laughs> that means, what did we hit down there? Well, in one dialect, in another dialect, it means abandoned ship. It means, mm. <laughs> talking it means about something else in Siciliano, mm. but if this is broadcast, I, I can't say. Uh, talking about abandoning ship, uh, 
there were a few rumors that the crew uh, saw fit to abandon the ship first. Is it true about these uh, rumors? Oh, well, that's a rumor. I see. But <laughs> is it a true rumor? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> but you must, uh, you must, uh, you know, understand the reason why the people, when they realized that it was not just a question of uh, right of way, <laughs> that uh, they realized, that, you know, something's uh, wrong, and they went downstairs to uh, pick up the snapshots that they take in Salerno, <laughs> and pick up the sweaters they buy in Naples. Meanwhile, we're getting off the boat. <laughs> I was in the bridge, you know, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to boast anything, but I made it to the first lifeboat in 9-6. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a... It's a maritime record. I'd <laughs> say it's highly creditable. I finished second. <laughs> Kalmai did it in 9-4. <laughs> Tell me, uh, Junior uh, the Guido, Officer. Yeah. what did you think when you saw the Ile de France? come up alongside to save you. You know, those show-offs. <laughs> they got a big boat with all lights and everything. It's, uh, you know, we could handle ourselves what happened. You know, they show up and they play the muscle and all that jazz. <laughs> and actually, they were very nice. Had a buck ahead, they did a good job. <laughs> Another sports event now, we find Guido Panzini at an American baseball game. And he's not alone. He's accompanied by his brother. What's his brother's name? Sal. Sal Panzini. Sal has just been over here about two days. Guido is uh, a bit more at home here. Here they are. Uh, these guys, you know, they're leveling out there. They must be bald paper plane thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Sal, let me explain, very brief, what it is. You explain it, baseball. Okay. Now, all around you. Around me. You see... <laughs> there are people... That's a game, baseball. <laughs> baseball is a game, Sal. This man... Everything that is a game. What? Everything that is a game. That's right. <laughs> it's just a game about these people of this... Baseball country. game. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. These guys, they got paid much money for what they do. Mickey Mantle, do you see Mickey? You see, yeah. Goodbye. I like Mickey Mantle, it's nice world, doesn't he? I don't understand you, sir. <laughs> Mickey Mantle, world, doesn't he? World, doesn't No, that's a Mickey Mouse. That's Mickey Mouse. He's in the class B league. I thought he was a beggar. What? You thought what? I thought he was a beggar. No, he's a small fella. He's a mouse. <laughs> that's, that's just that's a mouse. What yeah, that's what I asked. That's what I asked. He's a small mouse. What are you using? Mickey Mantle is a big man. <laughs> what are you using, mouse? <laughs> Sal, they don't use a mouse. They don't use no mouse. <laughs> There's no place in baseball for mouse. Just the man, nice man, athlete man, big strong man. Where do you get a mouse from? <laughs> no, you say, you say Mac, Mac. Mickey, Mickey, Miguel, Miguel, Miguel Mandel. No, Mantel. <laughs> Did you even get me all mixed up now? Now, this uh, is a very yeah. exciting, dramatic moment. Oh, uh, does when the paper going to sell something? It's not going to sell something, it's a nice game. Nice money. Oh, this man <laughs> Well, what's that? Oh, he wants to sell you a hot dog. <laughs> Could I have a mouse in his bag? <laughs> now, the guy has come up to the plate. He said, the great baseball player. Joe DiMaggio. Please? Baseball. 
Yo de Mayo. De Mayo. Is it Italian? Is it Italian? Yeah, well, Americanized, you know, his family's been a long time. Ah, oh, stupid. <laughs> Joe de Maggio plays with those nine men. He plays with the nine men? <laughs> hey, That's so... the national sport. <laughs> you know, so national I... sports are not so different. <laughs> Guido, we all know that you've been in the country a very short time, and uh, you've succeeded in learning our language, uh, learning English very quickly. How did you... Uh, did you know any English before you came to the United States? Well, as a matter of fact, I knew uh, English, most of my English, before I came to this country. Well, uh, where did you learn it? Well, I... Uh, I learned to speak English in the Italian uh, Navy. Italian Navy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That seems just a bit incongruous. How did you happen to learn seems English? Seems a bit what? Uh, in incongruous. Well, that's not an evil term, so I didn't know. Uh, it's it not a funny like term either. Uh, well, it's not a funny show. Uh, how did you happen to learn English in the Italian Navy? Well, uh, this way. Uh, I was sent to the submarine service. Huh? Submarine service, yeah. Did you smoke? Thank you. Right. And, uh, do you have a light? Yes, I have. And, um, how do you smoke? Let's go back to when Congress. <laughs> I uh, used to be in it, so, the submarine service, mm -hmm. and uh, at night, you know, we were stationed in the uh, Atlantic, the Pacific in the daytime. Uh, <laughs> it's a long submarine. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a short war, buddy. <laughs> and, uh, we, uh, we used to come to the surface at night, huh? Came to the surface at night? Mm -hmm. And we used to sneak up behind the American boats, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And watch the movies. <laughs> I see. And uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> just from watching the movies you learned English. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. Oh, we had so many, uh, well, that's how we were captured, you know. <laughs> That's how you were captured? Yes, uh, we snuggled behind the destroyer one night and those guys, those son of a guns, they were playing a double feature. We followed them into Newport. <laughs> 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 <laughs>